Welcome to the Big Board. It's uh, late Friday evening, and we are uh, now that we're finally set up. And I'm not going to uh, whine or complain or say one thing about the rules. All the setup. I've written all I need to write about it. So let's focus on the gameplay. And in the very first turn, and this is a chip pull uh, activation game. It's a point-to-point -point movement game. And it uh, uh, can potentially be, I think, fairly chaotic. Uh, movement is a function of rolling a die, and depending on whether you have control of a certain town, uh, Kayo here, which uh, is Kayoto, uh, will determine how many movement points you have. And those movement points can be used to move various size stacks, depending on who you're moving with, whether you're moving with a Daimo or a, uh, a uh, Shogun. And uh, so it gets a little complicated, then you have roads and trails, which uh, further sort of muddy the waters just a little bit. But that's all fairly straightforward to work out. Uh, combat is also a function of movement, and that can be, uh, that's just uh, one movement point to actually activate uh, a combat or, uh, in fact, uh, begin besieging a town. So, in the very first turn, uh, the Oda clan moves first, and uh, Nubanga, or I should say Nobuaga, Nobunaga, is the correct pronunciation of that, I believe. There he is, can we see him? We don't want to focus on him, do we? No, we don't. Well, trust me, that's the dude there. He has a mustache. It's very charming. Uh, well, in fact, he should have a mustache. But there he is anyway. Uh, he elected to leave several of his uh, units there and move uh, one down to this road here to block uh, this particular clan here from uh, any movement. And then he sent his uh, most favored uh, shogun, Hashiba Hideyoshi. And Hideyoshi has an interesting history because he was actually... Uh, a sandal bearer for, uh, I'm going to try and pronounce it right this time, Nobunaga. And uh, he rose to uh, become uh, very famous and in fact historically ended up uh, taking over uh, the whole uh, Oda clan and continuing the works uh, that Nobunaga begun. So, he besieged this town here, which was a, a run by a, a neutral or a minor ally. Uh, a minor, is it called a minor ally? No, a minor clan. And we besieged that town and uh, were successful in reducing it and taking it in the first turn. And I believe that you can do that based on whatever in the rules. Uh, we don't want to move too many guys from here because if you watched uh, Callendale's uh, videos, that's very easy for this monster stack here to mosey on down and uh, cause some trouble from the rear. Excuse me. So we don't want that to happen. The next chip that was pulled was the oh, crunch. Here we go. Was these guys, the Iko Iki, and they're basically a, a motley crew of uh, various priests and peasants and uh, uh, I guess Ronin style guys who uh, are rebelling against uh, Oda's uh, desire to consolidate power and. Uh, install a shogunate in uh, Japan. Uh, so they moved down and have besieged uh, this town here. And there was a unit there. They were unsuccessful in reducing the town. This uh, force then moved in to here. And this is the uh, Miyoshi clan. And uh, they came in and did their business, and they have uh, reduced the town, and they have now uh, captured it. And I'm not sure what's going to happen next turn. They're, they're working on the same team, so I think they can both uh, be in the same spot, and they can both um, pass through each other's uh, territories without causing any problems, I, uh, I believe. Uh, we didn't have any issues or uh, negotiations or betrayals going on there. We probably could have rolled for betrayal, perhaps, to avoid the combat, maybe. 
this guy could have rolled, but I think it's actually pretty difficult to do, and the modifiers are fairly modest, and um, if you're being besieged, you get uh, beneficial uh, uh, DRMs against the roll to uh, prevent the betrayal happening, because you're inside the castle, right? So it's uh, hard to be, harder to be uh, swayed out of it. So that all makes sense. So they're, they're the first three chits that we have played. And then uh, we have, I think, just two more to go. Pardon the darkness. Uh, we actually have, well, we have three more to go. One is going to be the end turn chit. Uh, so we're going to get on with this. We have uh, uh, Nobunaga has an opportunity to uh, activate, and the Azai Asakura clan also has an opportunity to activate. In fact, let's see who it will be. Uh, I cheated, I looked. Hang on a second. Ah, crap. It's end turn. Turn end. I guess that's good for the, uh, for the Oda clan. There we go. So that'll be our... That's uh, now going to take us to the next turn. All right. We're off the races. Next turn we get some reinforcements for the uh, Purple Chaps. And uh, we get to go through the end phase exercise. And so we'll work out what all that means. And people get start getting some cards. There are cards that you play and uh, you get them for capturing cities and doing things and I'm not sure when you get them but we'll work it all out pretty soon. Talk to you soon.